Okay, I'm finally doing it. Welcome, you person, to the very first Conscious Club podcast hosted by yours truly, Areej. In every situation, no matter what it is, there's a light side and there's a dark side. And for the most part, just the way that we have grown up in our societies, um, it's nobody's fault specifically, but we're quite pessimistic you know and a lot of the conditioning that we have grown up with is pessimistic so naturally whenever we are confronted with new situations um, when our brain processes them it automatically at least for me I'm sure a lot of people can relate but I obviously don't want to speak for everyone we automatically think of like the worst perspective you know like that's like what our default tends to be it's like me taking five six years to be able to be like oh actually me going through this whole situation with my family guess what and once I get out of it in a couple of years I'll be able to help people through the same thing and it'll be very fulfilling like obviously that is not where my mind went right when at the beginning of this whole thing like it felt like the world was closing in it was like suicidal but then over time I healed and I'm still healing I'm by no means completely healed from everything that I've been through but over time I was able to heal by going step by step with every little thing and being like okay how can I flip this to make it to see it from a lighter perspective how can I flip this so I I see it as like an optimistic thing as something that is meant to be as something that Um, is actually for my highest good even though it doesn't feel like it right now I feel like whenever we are confronted with a situation so like a pattern or a cycle in our life our minds have predetermined kind of pathways that it goes down once it's like um, exposed to that stimulus so for example a good analogy that the thing I'm visualizing is like think of a a a slope of like like a hill okay and then there's fresh snow that has just fallen on the hill and as we move through our lives like we have different sleds of thought patterns that just slide down the hill you know and then over time the paths they get deeper and deeper depending on how um, much the sled has kind of um, moved over it so the thoughts that are hardest for us to break, they, they are the paths with the, that are the deepest because anytime the sled comes even close to that path, it just automatically gets sucked in because it's like such a worn out uh, way to go. And so the way to heal is to identify all of those different paths that we have gone through our whole life. We have to identify which one of those are actually for our best purpose and which ones aren't. We do have the ability to kind of cause like fresh snowfall and to reset the pathways so that we can access um, a more optimistic mindset by going step by step and accessing more optimistic pathways or pathways or sled troughs or whatever that make us feel good. Um, as opposed to just going with what we have gone with the whole our whole lives, which very likely is like a negative thought pattern. Um, I feel like I should give you an example. So, okay, this is like a really simple example. I don't know why it popped up into my head. But <laughs> so think about like when you're sitting, it's sunny, it's the summertime, there's sun on your face, you're feeling good, you're feeling warm, you're just feeling like you're glowing from the inside out. Now imagine a bee comes and starts flying around you. So now your mind has two different places that it can go with this bee experience. Like the bee is the stimuli. One thing is, I feel like for the most part, even me, um, my, everyone's kind of default reaction is to like kind of like all of a sudden go get on edge about the bee and being like automatically their thoughts are like, oh shit, it's going to sting me, you know? And that's where 
we start our minds just automatically start going down that thought pattern and it's like oh my god the bee is gonna sting me and so all of a sudden we tense up we all of a sudden cannot enjoy the present moment anymore because we're just like so worried about making sure that the bee doesn't land us on us and sting us and it really causes a lot of stress you know it's something that experience is not something that feels good it's not something that we prefer to have but if we are able to identify that thought pattern whenever we see the stimulus of a bee coming into our like near our bodies if we can identify that as something that happens um, and we let ourselves kind of think through that for a little bit observing that reaction and sorting through it in our minds so for example if I'm identifying that this is how I react and it's like okay I don't really want to feel so upset about bees being around me because at a certain time during the season, it's just bound to happen and I'm not going to waste my time just feeling scared. Um, And then maybe I'll think about thoughts like, okay, what are the reasons why I shouldn't be scared of bees? Or like, what are the positive things about bees that I can think about instead? And one of the things is I've never been stung by a bee or a wasp or anything and they have been around me a lot. And the way I do that is I just don't really swat at them. I just kind of stay still. And I'm sure I've been lucky, but realistically like I don't get stung that often I don't think that it's that high of a risk for me to get stung unless I'm actively like aggravating the bee just giving your mind uh thoughts that it could go choose instead of going into that like default um fright thought pad thought path sled path (laughs) now does it make sense what I'm talking about (laughs) I hope so (laughs) so yeah so that is just like a very simple way like you can retrain your brain and reprogram the default programs by just observing them and kind of installing new software onto them I love the analogy of just coding because I for those of you that don't know I did study like I have a computer science degree Um, that's what I studied at university and so now that I'm kind of moving into the field of what what is it psychology I guess Um, yeah just like learning about the way that our minds work what the human how to move through the human experience things like that I find the programming analogies coming in so handy 